Below is a simplified version of the protocols of the elders of Zion. I ask that you first review the protocols, and then listen to a discussion about them. Consider this. Could creating a fake document outlining a conspiracy be the most effective way to discredit any real discussion of an actual conspiracy? 1. Control of the media. The protocols claim that Jewish leaders plan to control the global press to manipulate public opinion and suppress opposition. 2. Undermining religion. It alleges that Jewish conspirators aim to weaken Christianity and other religions to create moral decay, thereby destabilizing societies. 3. Economic domination. The text asserts that Jewish financiers are orchestrating economic crises and controlling global markets to achieve political power. 4. Political infiltration. The protocols purports that Jewish leaders seek to infiltrate governments and international organizations to exert control from within. 5. Promotion of revolution and conflict. It claims that Jews are behind social upheavals, revolutions, and wars to weaken nations and create opportunities for takeover. 6. Establishing a world government. The document alleges that the ultimate goal of this conspiracy is to establish a Jewish-dominated global government. 7. Suppression of dissent. It suggests that Jews plan to suppress any resistance through a combination of force, propaganda, and legal manipulation. 8. Subversion of education. The protocols claim that Jewish leaders intend to control education systems, to indoctrinate and confuse the masses, making them more malleable. 9. Destruction of the family unit. The text argues that Jews are promoting ideas that would weaken family structures as part of a strategy to destabilize societies. 10. Use of Freemasonry. It asserts that Jewish leaders are using Freemasonry as a front to further their alleged global conspiracy. The idea that a real conspiracy could be hidden behind a fake document, like the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, is an intriguing concept, but also a challenging one to substantiate. This notion would rely on several psychological and socio-political dynamics, misdirection and disinformation. A fake document like the Protocols could serve as a form of misdirection, drawing public attention away from real issues or conspiracies. By focusing on a fabricated narrative, the document could divert scrutiny from actual, unrelated activities that are happening behind the scenes, discrediting legitimate concerns. Once a document like the Protocols is exposed as a forgery, it can lead to the broader discrediting of any related concerns or discussions. For example, if there were legitimate questions about power dynamics or the influence of certain groups, these might be dismissed outright as just another conspiracy theory because of their association with a known hoax, reinforcing cynicism and paranoia. A fake document can fuel paranoia and cynicism, making it harder for people to distinguish between truth and fiction. If people are repeatedly exposed to false conspiracies, they might become either overly skeptical or overly credulous, both of which can obscure genuine issues. Overloading with falsehoods, by flooding the public discourse with false information, those behind a potential real conspiracy could create an environment where the truth is difficult to discern. The asterisk protocols asterisk might be just one piece of a larger puzzle of misinformation that clouds people's judgment and distracts them from looking at the actual events or power structures, creating a straw man. The protocols could function as a straw man conspiracy, a false narrative that is easy to disprove and ridicule. When people focus on debunking the fake conspiracy, they might overlook more subtle, genuine conspiracies that don't fit the same sensational mold. Polarising public opinion, a document like the Protocols, can polaris public opinion, splitting people into opposing camps. This division can be exploited to prevent unified opposition against any real issues or conspiracies that might be at play, as people are too busy fighting over the authenticity or implications of the fake document. So in confusion, the existence of a widely recognized fake like the protocols can contribute to an atmosphere of confusion, 
where all conspiracy theories are lumped together, making it more difficult to address actual misconduct. Genuine concerns might be dismissed with the same skepticism applied to the false document. Undermining trust, a fake document, can undermine trust in legitimate sources of information and institutions. If people are repeatedly deceived, they might begin to question everything, including genuine investigations or reports, thus making it easier for a real conspiracy to remain hidden in plain sight. In summary, while there's no concrete evidence to suggest that the protocols of the elders of Zion were intentionally created to hide a real conspiracy, the dynamics of misinformation, disinformation, and public perception could theoretically allow a real conspiracy to be obscured by such a fake document. The key mechanism would be the confusion, mistrust, and distraction sown by the falsehood, which might lead people to miss or dismiss genuine issues.